Today, I have a quick and easy page for you to create. It's a notes page, so stay with me. Well, hi everyone, this is Crystal from A Crystal Clear Life, where we focus on planning, organizing, and living a more simplified life. And today, I want to come to you with a much requested um, notes page. Now, I showed this notes page in my 2025 uh, journal setup, and I got lots and lots of questions about, how did you make that notes page? Can I buy that notes page? Let me see that notes page. Well, here it is. I'm going to show it to you. It's quick. It's easy. I'm also going to show you how to set it up as a template so that if you have a dedicated notes section that you want to use this page for as a template, every time you create a new page, this will be the page that is created. All right. Well, if any of that sounds interesting to you, please go ahead and give me a like. A thumbs up really is the best compliment that you can leave me. Hit that subscribe button if you have not done so already. And with all that out of the way, let's get into the computer and learn how to set up this notes page. All right. Well, you can see here on my screen that this is the notes page that everybody is asking about. It is a very simple notes page with a lined background. It looks like notebook paper, which is appealing to me as a retired teacher. I always love a good clean sheet of loose leaf paper to use in my notebook. Okay, so this is what it looks like, and I'm going to break it down for you step by step exactly what it is. Okay, the first thing is, um, did you know you can change the view on the background of each of your pages? If I go up here to the view menu and I go down to ruled lines and I click on that, you can see currently that I have this first set, this narrow ruled line page as my background. Okay, I can change that to a wider rule if I want. I can go even wider and I can go to what we teachers would call primary paper, which is really, really wide, okay? I can also, in OneNote, go to a grid line. So those nice little grid check boxes that everybody loves, you know, that graph paper look, uh, and there's a very tiny one, there's a larger one, there's a much larger, and then again, the really, really big squares, okay? Uh, what again we would call primary or I used to use this kind of paper a lot in school for graphs for kids All right, so you can change the background and the way it looks I happen to like this very narrow like college rule because if I'm using this on my iPad You know I can zoom in and make it bigger to fit my handwriting and then when I zoom it back down my handwriting gets smaller I like that a lot. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it as this college rule line right here so again, that's under view and rule lines, and I'm going to use the college rule, okay? Now, I also created a text box here, uh, and you can see this gray container right here is a text box. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to go through and find a font that I thought that worked well for typing on this particular uh, ruled line. So I settled on Century Gothic. 11.5 okay and I like that because if I hit enter and I start typing again and here I'm just going to type some gibberish but you can see that that font fits really well on that lined paper okay so I like that uh, and so what I do is I leave this first sentence here this works great on the paper century gothic and then when I go to start I will just delete that and take it out. Now, if this was a font that you were using, uh, you know, as the default font in, in your notebook for every single page, you could just set that Century Gothic as your default font. And when you went ahead to start typing, uh, it would already be there, okay, for you. But I use all different kinds of fonts in my notebooks. So I just wanted to remember that this is the one that I like to use on my notes page, okay? All right, so we have the background. We have the, the correct font that works. And I like to leave for my notes pages the date that's up here. So if I click on this date, 
you can see a little box comes up over here and it says change the page date. Now if I want, I can go through and set it for whatever date that I want or you can have it set for today, okay? So I could do that for today if I wanted to or you can delete that all together. You can get rid of that little date that's up there um, you know, by, by deleting it all together. So I could cut it out if I wanted to. And if you delete it, then you just have a plain blanks note page. But as a teacher, you know, the first thing the kids always do on their paper is you put your name, your date and the subject, right? So I like having a date on there. So I'm going to leave that date and I like it kind of set to today so that if I create a new page, it will give me that today date. So I know, remember when that note was created. Okay, now this title up here that says notes, that is simply the name of the page. Let me move these graphics and show you what I'm talking about. Everybody likes these two black lines that kind of define the notes at the top. And I like it too. I think it's very classic looking. Okay, but all that really is, is a graphic. All I did to create that is I went somewhere on the page. I went to my draw tool. I said, draw a shape and I want a straight line and I want it to go from here to here, whatever length you think that your page is or whatever length you think you want your page to be. Okay, like that. And then to change the pen properties, you can simply go and right click on it and you can change the thickness of the line. Okay, you can change uh, a different color if you want. Okay, and this particular one I happen to draw with a highlighter because that was the tool that was created. Let me show you again using a pen. So let me go up here to this pen and we will show you how to draw it there. Now from this point I could choose the thickness that I want here and the color. I could do all of that right here. I could even, you know, go go and use more colors or the eyedropper tool or any of that kind of thing. But for now, I just want to show you how to create the line and then we'll change it. Okay. So I'm going to go up here to just another line and I'm going to say, draw a shape. So here's a straight line and I am going to go straight across like so. And again, you can make it as long or as short as you want. And then I'm going to click off that and choose my select tool and right click and go to pen properties. And here I can make it black at this point. I can make it a little bit thicker if I want. Okay, so that's kind of now looking exactly like the one I have up above. Maybe I want to do it a different color. Um, you know, I can do it the rainbow color if I want. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Uh, here, this one's kind of cool. You know, whatever you'd like, you can also go down to more colors. You can choose uh, custom colors here. Um, or you could go to pen properties again. You could go down and choose um, under more colors. You could do a custom color. You could put in a hex code if you wanted to, um, or you could choose from any of the colors that are here. Okay, so you get the idea. Um, but for the purposes of mine, I wanted it, you know, to be very neutral. So I just went with black and that's a good thickness. Okay. Now, once I had it the way I wanted it, I simply uh, clicked on it and I said copy. And then I went down to a different place and I said paste. Okay. So now I have two lines that are exactly the same. I then grabbed that line, took it up here, put it in place just like that. And I actually covered up the line, uh, you know, that's underneath the title. Okay. And I did the same for the top. So if you look up here, you can see there's the graphic. I can move it right. And it goes away or I can put it back just like so. And then here's the second one. And so you can see the title line, the page title line right there. I put my line right over top of that. So it's kind of hidden. Okay, like so, and it's that easy. All right, so let's go in and delete these.
Okay, well, once you have the page set up the way that you want it, you can actually create a page template if you would like to. So let me go up here to insert and page templates. And you see, I already have it here called notes dash lined. But if I go down here to page templates, it's going to give me this box on the far right hand side. And it's going to say, um, uh, save current page as a page template. Now, if I click on this, it's going to come up and it's going to ask me, what do I want this to be called? And again, you saw that I had it called uh, notes dash lined. So I could put that title in there again if I wanted to. And then there's a checkbox here that says set as the default template for new pages in this current section. Okay, so let's say, for example, I had maybe this research notes section in my notebook and I wanted every page that I created to be this this lined page template. Okay, I could say set that as the default template if I were in this section. Okay, then every time I added a new page in my notes section, that would come up. Okay, all right. So for now, I'm going to cancel because I don't want I don't want to change my um, my January setup here. All right, so if you want to use uh, for a particular section, if you want to use a page template, like for example, let's go over here to my research notes section. This is one of the page templates that I use in my research notes section, but I also could set up uh, under my templates, I could choose the template that I wanted. So for example, here's that notes dash lined. I could go down here and say, Pick a template that you want to use for this section. So every time I create a new page, it will now be the notes lined section. Okay. Then I could go up here and I could say add page. You get a little box here because I had a previous one set up. It says this action will remove the current default template for this section. There is no way to undo this action. You sure you want to continue? Yes. Okay. And then when I add a new page, it will come up and it will be this notes page as opposed to the personal development page, which it was before. So if I want to change it back to personal development, all I need to do is go down here to personal development, notes, say yes again, and that little box comes up. And then when I add a new page, it will come up to my personal development notes. Okay. All right. So you can change the template. Uh, and a lot of people seem to really like that notes page. So I'm glad that I had an opportunity to share that with you. Okay. It's a very simple page, but it is very, very effective and I really like it. And I hope that you like it too. Okay. All right. Please don't forget to give me a like. If you've learned something new today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And until next time, here's hoping that you can live a more simplified and organized life through better planning. I use OneNote. Until next time. Okay. Bye.